Fahed, it's been fantastic to be with you these last few days. Can you tell me a little bit more about yourself and what you do? Uh, my name is Fahed Abu Akhil. I am a Presbyterian minister, member of the Presbytery of Greater Atlanta. And uh, 31 years ago, I established an ecumenical ministry uh, called AMI, Atlanta Ministry with International Students. And the whole purpose of the ministry is to link international students with Americans on a friendship basis. When we started that ministry, it was about 2,500 students. Today, there are about 9,000 international students from 160 countries in 30 colleges and universities in Metro Atlanta. So our whole focus is how we, as the Christian community, in the name of Jesus Christ, can uh, do a ministry of friendship and hospitality with these leaders from around the world who are receiving education in Metro Atlanta. That's great. And what's your interest in the Middle East? Middle East, I was born uh, in a small Palestinian Arab village uh, 25 miles northwest of Nazareth in the Galilee area. And uh, uh, as a four-year-old kid, uh, I experienced uh, the Nakba, what the Palestinians call the uh, uh, catastrophe. Uh, I never forget uh, leaving home with my dad, five uh, sisters and two brothers. And the first one you look for would be your mother. And mother was not there. And I start looking and she was on the top of the roof waving her hand. We left her and we went up to a small village called Yirka at Ruse village. And we were put in a makeshift uh, Palestinian refugee camp in tents. We were there for several months. And then we came back, and my mother was there. And, uh, but when we came back, five Palestinian villages next to my home were completely destroyed. So when Israel became a state, more than 400 Palestinian villages, Christians and Muslims, were destroyed, and three-quarters of a million Palestinians uh, became uh, refugees. So my growing up in Israel, my mother language is Arabic, my second language is Hebrew, and in the sixth grade I studied English. Growing up there, my concern now is how do you reconcile an Israeli Jew to a Palestinian Arab? I feel uh, the Palestine issue is the core issue. We in the United States can help uh, Israel to make peace with Egypt, we can help Israel make peace with Jordan, we can help Israel make peace with any Arab country you want, but unless we make a genuine, authentic peace between Israeli Jews and a Palestinian Arab, to me that's the core issue. So uh, why, why inv invite someone like me to come here and speak about Christian it's, Zionism? It's very simple, because uh, I live in the South, and uh, we have a joke in the South. We say we have more Baptists than people. And uh, this theology is very strong in the Southern Baptists, in the Assemblies of God and the Church of God, dispensational theology, that the land belonged to the Jews. So the Arabs, Palestinian Christians, or Muslims, four millions now there on the ground, not the people outside, do not figure in their theology. So to me, uh, theology matters. We need pastors, uh, we need members of the congregation in a very constructive way to love Israel, to love the Palestinians, and do reconciliation. Dispensational theology and Christian Zionism focus is to ethnically cleanse Palestinians out of the land. And that's to me, in the 21st century, we are going back, backward. And as Christians, we need to focus, how do we reconcile people and not to kick people out? And what kind of impact do you feel uh, the presentations I've made have, have uh, given? Uh, 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 Stephen, uh, you, are, you are not only a pastor, you are not only a preacher, but I love your gift of uh, teaching. The way you explain from the scripture and then help people to understand the theology of Christian Zionism and how that impacts our political and military power in that part of the world. And uh, you always focus on how do we heal an Israeli Jew to a Palestinian Arab. And that kind of theology is destructive in that, in that area. Mm.
Thank you very much. Thank Bye. you for coming to Atlanta. Thank you.